Guys, this is my Mac mini and today I will show you how to connect it to two monitors because as you might know, the Mac mini is not big on ports. So here you can see I have one HDMI port and basically three USB-C ports. But how do I connect two monitors then? Well, you can use the HDMI port on Mac mini, which will support only one monitor or you will have to convert it to an HDMI to a type C uh, cable or a converter itself. But you can also use something like this. This is a hub for the hub. I have multiple ports over here, including the HDMI port. So I can use one HDMI port on my Mac mini and one on the hub. Other than that, I have many goodies uh, with the ports on this as well. Uh, for example, an SD card reader, which is very helpful for me. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do now is connect one HDMI cable to this monitor, which is this. So let's connect that. But we have another HDMI cable for that we are going to use the hub. So this hub also has an HDMI port. So let's connect that. But because this has USB ports as well, I'm going to connect the keyboard and the monitor to the hub itself. So it gives me a more minimalistic look. So as you can see, I have connected all three of them. Now I'm going to connect this USB-C to the back of the Mac mini. So one of the USB type C is going to be occupied by this. Now that I've plugged everything back in, it gives me a more or less a clean look. Let's start the Mac mini. And here you can see one display has started up. And now here you can see guys, I have connected two monitors, but as you can see, the cursor goes from this side to that side instead of uh, me just swiping and it going across the screens. But how do you fix that? To fix that, go to system settings and then you want to scroll down to displays over here. Click on displays. In displays, you can see use as extended display or mirror for BenQ. So if I do that, this is going to be my main screen while this is going to mirror it. So it's gone back to extended display over here. So as I told you, the cursor is going from here onto that uh, monitor instead of just swiping across. So for that, we are going to click on arrange and then we are going to just swipe it over here. And here you can see, if I just click on it, this is going to go red on the borders just to indicate that it is in fact this display. So now I have arranged it. I have actually told the Mac mini that, hey, this monitor is on the left side while this one is on the right side. And if I click on done, so here you can see the cursor is just going to go across. So even if I lift and drop it over here, it is actually going to go across the screens. Apart from this, you can actually just select both screens and change it. So in this case, BenQ is the main display. I can make it the extended display or mirror for full HD. So it's going to mirror that screen onto here. And you can also click on color profile and select whatever color profiles you see fit for your application. Over here, we have resolution as well. These are both 1080p monitors. So as you can see here as well, the maximum available resolution is 1080. Uh, I can also go to refresh rate. And in this case, this is a 60 Hertz monitor that is a 75 Hertz. So if I again click on the LG one, I can click on refresh rate and you can see by default, it is currently on 75. I can also go down to 50 if I so wish. And here you can see it has gone down to 50. I can take it back up to 75 again. You can also go down to rotation and set it accordingly. So I can just say here 90 degrees. So uh, it will just create a vertical display. If I want, I can just revert and it will go back to the original setting. But that is how you do it. You basically just need one of those USB hubs and you are set. So for the hubs, I am actually using one from Amazon Basics. And the other one is a very luxe one. I will leave a link in the description if you uh, want to purchase it. But they both have been uh, proving themselves very useful to me. I think the very luxe one, in my opinion, is better. But if you want, I can also do a full on review with the Mac uh, on how it actually works and what it is capable. The Mac mini itself can actually uh, support up to 6k displays and if you are putting down two displays it can actually do 4k and 2k so that is very useful as well so hopefully you found this video helpful if you have drop a like share and subscribe